Hi, hello, this is Kate uh, in front of Tree CG Community Center. This is the uh, primary election voting site. Today is March 1st, it's a Houston primary election date. Uh, I'm here just around to talk to voters or people who are around here, volunteers. Uh, here I met, um, obviously, uh, Megan. Uh, she is uh, doing this uh, survey. So hi, Megan, and tell us what you're doing. Hi, I'm here to represent OCA Greater Houston and the Asian American Legal Defense and Education Fund. We are doing an exit poll survey, which is to ask people about language accessibility in the primary voting locations. Uh, we want to make sure that we get the opinions of the voters who maybe do not speak English as their first language, particularly those who maybe speak Chinese or Vietnamese as those populations are very large in the city of Houston. So basically, uh, you do like once they go in the uh, room after they vote, and uh, you want to survey them uh, to see if they get any help inside, is that correct? Yes, so okay. it's asking questions based on do you see signs perhaps that are in Chinese, Vietnamese, or other languages even, and to see if you need a translator. So say if someone was born in China, born overseas, they are now an American citizen. So what is the importance of asking if they get any help inside? Why are you doing this? What's the significance of the survey? Well, part of the significance of the survey is because we want to make sure as an organization that is like nonpartisan and that wants to represent uh, minority communities, that they have the ability to vote as any other American citizen does. We do not want people to have difficulty or problems with trying to vote and being a part of the American system just because of the language they grew up speaking. Okay, well, uh, sounds like a very good uh, <laughs> survey and a meaningful activity. So um, tell us about uh, yourself. Are you like uh, in college or? Um, so I graduated recently last spring from Southern Methodist University. I'm a native Houstonian and I will be going to Columbia University for my master's degree program in anthropology this upcoming fall. Oh, wow. But it uh, sounds like you are very active uh, in civil engagement. How, uh, because as a lot of uh, Asian Americans, or particularly maybe Chinese Americans, not very active in politics. So why are you uh, active in doing what, what you're doing? Part of the reason why this is so important to me is that my family as well has impressed upon me that it's really important to take part and be proud of you know, being a part of like the society, being a citizen, and because lots of, like you said, Chinese Americans or people who have immigrated and become citizens, they don't feel that they are as involved or they may not feel that their vote matters as much. But it's in fact the opposite case that we should want to see more representation in not only the people who do vote, but also those elected officials. We want to see more Asian American, more Latino American, you know, all these different other people that will represent what our communities actually look like rather than just people who have been sitting in these seats for a very long time that may not understand the community struggle. Well, that sounds very good. Oh, you mentioned the Columbia. So then you must know Andrew Yao, who is the former presidential candidate. He also graduated uh, from Columbia. Uh, so what do you think of him? Well, so personally, did you know, at first, did you know that he graduated from Columbia? I, I think that he graduated from Columbia. I'll have to double check. I personally did not know that, but I think that while Andrew Yang did not end up becoming like the actual Democratic candidate, it was really great to see that we have more Asian Americans that not only gained support, but also had really strong platforms and they were able to speak well on the national stage to show that, you know, the presidential race is not just one for you know Caucasian Americans and it's also not just for men that we have more representation all around. Andrew Yang is a good representation of the Asian American community or is a representative of the Asian American community. But yeah, it's really great to see more people getting involved. Yeah, sounds great. Uh, Megan, uh, who is a young uh, college graduate and is going to Columbia University, is a young promising Chinese American who is uh, uh, advocating for Asian votes. And to you audience out there, if you are Asian Americans and you have ability and aspiration who want to run for the office and go and run for it. If not, just as a regular citizens, come out and vote and be a part of a contribution to this great country. Thank you.